How to Convert AVI to DVD With the advent of digital technology, file sharing and editing, may it be picture, audio, or video, have become commonplace, especially with the internet and social networking sites. Because of this, software applications that allow you to do all sorts of editing, such as file compression and conversion, have also become commonplace, primarily to make file sharing easy. With these applications are easily available on the net, you no longer need to pay for a professional to edit these files since these programs are actually very user-friendly. In dealing with video formats, for example, learning how to convert AVI to DVD is literally as easy as 1, 2, 3. Videos can come in different formats depending on the kind of quality you want. The smaller the video size, such as 3GP and MP4, the lesser the quality. If you want your videos to be of high quality, this is when you go for file formats like AVI and DVD. Why convert AVI to DVD? AVI, or Audio Video Interleave, is a high-quality video format, but most DVD players cannot read this format, so you will need to convert it into a DVD format. DVDs, or Digital Versatile Discs, are actually the name of a hard storage device that is in disc form that is used to store videos in a format that players can read. Here are easy steps to follow in converting a video file from AVI to DVD format. 1. Choose the software. First, go to a search engine on the internet, like google.com or yahoo.com, and search for free video converter software. AVS is recommended since it is free, easy, and supports almost all video formats, such as DVD, VOB, AVI, MOV, TS, XVID, MP4, WMV, M4V, 3GP, MPEG, H.264, MOD, MTS, M2TS, AVCHD, QT, Blu-ray, DVR-MS, MKV, TOD, DPG, Flick, RM, SWF, FLV. There are several other free software, like Hamster or Freemake, and you can check out the user interface, how the program looks like, and see what suits you best. 2. Download and install. There are software applications that are run online that you no longer need to download and install, but a downloadable version is recommended for repeated use and ease of access, in case your internet connection is cut or lost for any reason, for example. Click the download button in the home page. After it downloads, click the file and a prompt dialog will ask for permission to install it. Go through the installation process by just clicking the next button every time you are finished. After you install it, you will be asked permission to run it. Just click the Run button in the prompt. 3. Open the file. When you have installed and run the program, open it and click the Add File button. Taskbars are usually at the far left and most user interface are very easy and user friendly. 4. Click the End Format, DVD. Choose the preferred file output format. In this case, it is DVD. Some software allows you advanced options to choose the kind of DVD file you want. You do not really need to do this if you do not want to, however, since most players will play the file as long as it is in DVD format. 5. Convert the file. When you've chosen the file to convert and the output file format, hit Convert and wait till it finishes. This step usually takes a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how good your internet connection is. 6. Save the file. After the conversion, save the file by burning it on a DVD, into any file storage device, or directly into your computer's memory. The good thing about these file converter software applications is not only that they are free, but they are very useful in converting file to any type of format. Usually, depending on the kind of device you want to watch your video in, a file conversion will be in order. Like mobile phones and MP4 players can only read files in 3GP and MP4 formats, while brand-specific devices like Mac personal computers and laptops that have their own operating system, OS, and ergo, OS-specific file formats. Learning how to convert AVI to DVD and other file formats is not only a very practical skill to learn, but you can even earn from it. This service is something less tech-savvy people or those who are simply too busy to do it themselves would be more than willing to pay for.